Well, hello world, I'm Maya Sundermeyer, and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. So far, I have shared my experiences with you of what it's like for me to live on the spectrum. Other times, I will give my two cents on what's going on with autism in the media. And finally, I like to cover topics that I am passionate about that have absolutely nothing to do with autism whatsoever. And... Um, Tonight, I would like to talk to you guys about a subject which I call um, Adults Can Be Cruella DeVille. And uh, this is all about um, societal bullying from other people. And it, that it had happened to me on um, the public transit situation right here in Atlanta. And um, it had seemed to start um, last Wednesday, which was the day, or Tuesday, which was right before Thanksgiving. And I ended up uh, sitting in the back of the bus because it was really crowded and uh, there were a few spots back there. And I ended up running into a couple of uh, younger adults and they were riding on the bus too. And myself and another girl sitting next to me were asking uh, for, to borrow some lotion if um, the other girl across from me um, had any. So I saw the little bottle of lotion and I had asked the lady um, very clearly if, but how, if she knew how much the lotion was. And um, she said she didn't know and um, all that. And being who I am, I'm very detail-oriented, and I told her that um, it would be great to have a bottle of lotion because it just gets so dry at work, and I'd like to have a little travel size like that. And um, she and um, the guy next to her and then other people around just started laughing at me for absolutely no reason. And I don't even know why they thought it was funny. And so, um, and so I tried having a conversation with them and they just kept laughing at me. And I wanted to also mention that I have a habit of talking to myself. And uh, what I have learned how to do uh, in terms of the talking to myself is I have um, a cell phone with me and I turn the volume off or the ringers off so that uh, I can have my uh, conversations without bothering other people and them being bothered about my talking to myself. And so far it has been able to work really well. Well, these kids figured it out that I was um, having a conversation um, to myself and not to anybody else. And they thought maybe I had some sort of a mental illness. And um, they started uh, talking behind my back. They, they called me crazy. And um, they started um, laughing every time I opened my mouth. And they made fun of the way I said things. And they also well, were, again, whispering. And then um, yesterday I ran into them again and um, I knew that if I saw them, I would approach them and uh, let them know that um, what they did was uh, last week was not acceptable. So I was going up there to approach them because again, it was crowded in the front of the bus and it was noy. It uh, was not as crowded in the back. And so I saw them sitting up there and I was going to try and... Um, have a conversation with them and um, I noticed that uh, the guy was sitting um, in a row and there was an empty seat right next to him and he had all kinds of stuff on his seat and he refused to let me sitting there to sit there by saying that he had a cold and I knew it was an excuse because um, the girl across from him was laughing about it and I went to sit down um, in the back and I noticed that he allowed another passenger to sit right next to him and so I decided to get up and move because I thought I was uh, rude. And as I was moving out, they started laughing at me and they started whispering, oh, she's crazy, she's crazy. She has imaginary fo has an imaginary friend or she lives in a fantasy world. And I just, um, I immediately and firmly opened up my mouth at that point and I said, excuse me. Um, you guys, uh, I know you're think you guys uh, think that's funny. Unfortunately, you should know that your words hurt, and I think you guys should stop. And they just kept on laughing. And I, um, I looked at them and I said, I don't know if you're aware, but what you guys are doing is a form of bullying. And they wanted to sass off at me, and and I said, you guys mind your own business. And and they said, yeah, well then don't talk on your phone. Mind your own business. So, what I'd like to mention too that. Uh, 
you know, is really common is that people on the autism spectrum have trouble talking to, so socializing with other people. It's always very awkward with them, and it is incredibly awkward with me, even though I have um, overcome so much. I mean, even trying to talk to these people, I just, I don't have a parable for it, but talking, associating with other people can be incredibly awkward because I don't know what to say or how to say it. And then, again, I also talk to myself, and um, I don't have auditory hallucinations, I don't have delusions, I don't have, have visual hallucinations, I just talk to myself, and there are other people on the spectrum that do that too, and it's actually a form of uh, thinking out loud. And I am trying to learn how to curve that part, and then I'm trying to learn how to communicate, and I'm learning how to... Um, how to socialize with people and be mature. And sometimes there are people that don't understand. And so no matter what I say, other people will stand and snicker about the way I say things. And it's just really frustrating. And I wish people wouldn't laugh at the way I say things. And I mean, it's like I'm minding my own business and people go out of their way to do it. And it's really annoying. And, you know, and honestly, and if you've seen my face before, Please stop laughing at me because I'm a human being just like you are. Um, anyway, I also wanted to uh, make a statement about bullying. And um, again, I think what those kids uh, were doing to me on the bus so were bullies. Now, um, some people think I victimized myself. Unfortunately, A, they don't know what I'm going through because they don't live in my head. And they've got problems of their own and blah, blah, blah. Um, and then two, I normally don't have a problem when I uh, ride ride the bus or the train to get to and from Atlanta. Um, it's just the last couple of weeks I've had to deal with a couple of jerky kids that um, don't have anything better to do but pick on other people because they feel bad about themselves or they. Pro or they're, I mean, for one thing, I'm a white girl and they're a couple of Black Americans, and so I'm wondering if uh, they're biased and prejudiced against me because they've had so many bad experiences with white people. So they are taking it out on a white girl that um, that's that has no idea as to what they've gone through, and so you know. And I'm learning too that they probably hate white people, and then um, they're ignorant because they don't know what's going on with me, and it's actually very sad, but. Uh, if you are laughing at somebody who is having a hard time and if you're calling them names and you're you're trying to make that person miserable because you don't understand first off um, educate yourself and if you can't manage to educate yourself you need to mind your own business and continue being disrespectful towards others or, or um, what I like to do you keep your mouth shut um, there's nothing you can do to change who I am as a person. You need to keep your mouth shut. So, um, for those of you that are listening to this, um, you are more than welcome to comment below. Uh, what kinds of uh, uh, bullying have you experienced? I mean, outside of school and the workplace, and where have you had the bullying, and why did they bully you? So, you don't have to live on the spectrum to be bullied, because I know that at some point or another, somebody's going to um, encounter uh, this type of uh, behavior or type of um, intentional harm. So, um, if you like what I have to say, um, you are more than welcome to s subscribe. Um, please be sure to share this with your friends and family and be sure to retweet these messages. So, until next time, I'm Maya Sundermeyer and I'm signing off now. Bye.